News this morning. We're just getting word that at least three people are in the hospital after a shooting near the Tennessee State University campus. The second deadly shooting near Vanderbilt in one week. Tennessee State University at the Vanderbilt campus. Late Thursday evening, a shooting took place at Tennessee State University, leaving one dead and three injured. The courtroom in the Vanderbilt rape trial. Crime happens on many college campuses across the United States. Where there is crime, there is reporting. But is the media portraying an accurate approach to covering campus crime? We will take a look into college crime, blurred lines, and answer the question, is there a difference in media coverage and crime on HBCUs and PWIs college campuses in Nashville? The universities a part of this research are Vanderbilt, Belmont, Tennessee State, and Fisk University. I had the opportunity to sit down with Tony Gonzalez of Nashville Public Radio, who has covered college crime throughout his reporting career. I think the media is trying to cover crime equally. And what I think that means is they're mostly going to cover only the most serious crimes. That's essentially homicide or serious you know, attacks with, with weapons or that sort of endanger somebody's life or high profile sexual assault cases. I think if those types of high level crimes occur, they're going to get coverage no matter what the campus is. I think it's the next level down of crime where you're maybe gonna see a little bit of difference. Um, you know, if there's a, a rash of, of burglaries or something like that or damage or, or you know, vandalism, things like that. Um, I don't know if those are going to get covered. I think those were a lot of those variables come in. So I think on the highest level of crime, I think there's going to be a lot of media attention. And I think it's fair. And I think that it's appropriate that when something really serious happens, you know, all the TV stations, newspaper reporters, everybody some, sort of comes over to cover that. I think it's important to cover campus crime. Um, a lot of the viewers they had, they're baby boomers and they either have children or younger siblings or nieces or nephews who are in college. However, sometimes when when news affiliates cover the crime, it's not always the most accurate or it's seen through this perspective that's fairly limited and it's based on the newsroom's perspective of what is normal, what is abnormal. Typically news affiliates will cover something at what they perceive as abnormal more, give it more coverage than something they think is typical. So Some students at these universities feel that crime coverage can be improved. Tennessee State University, for example, um, I remember there was a shooting or something that took place um, on campus some months ago, and within minutes, it went to CNN. And I was like, wow. And I didn't even know about it. And I'm right down the street, but I look on my phone and see news alerts. And I'm like, wow, it just got to CNN. Um, this year, I thought it was actually overcovered because I thought personally last year's campus violence was way worse than this year's was. So I believe this year was overcovered. A pattern and a trend that I've seen is that when something happens specifically at a historically black college or university, it's like they take that and they run with it and they try to. Uh, and they, speaking as in the news stations or media coverage, it's like it's taken and it's perpetuated in a way um, that uh, it, it's bigger than, it's like, why? You know, why, why are you promoting this so much more than something else? If we're talking about a realistic picture of the amount of crimes that actually happen on campus, it's definitely undercovered. Um, the students know about crimes. We receive, you know, updates and emails when something has happened so that we can all be safe but the greater Nashville community or community at large um, I would say is not well informed on the amount of crimes that happen on our campus. Crimes that happen publicly and then are like reported. The greatest example again is sexual assault. I think sexual assault is like one of the biggest problems on campus in that a lot of people don't know how often it is happening and it's so little reported. A lot of the crimes that we get alerts about are usually like sexual harassment crimes um, and a lot of those do not make it out to the media. I know the Vanderbilt rape trial is um, a really big thing in the media right now but um, there are a lot more sexual harassment cases that do um, get reported on this campus. Um, I, I'm not sure why they don't make it to larger media.